Give us your take on the Celtics Warriors. I mean, I, I kind of got the sense in, in a half a sentence you, earlier in this conversation that you're somewhat optimistic of the Celtics' chances. I'm very encouraged, and I think uh, to sum it all up, I think that the only way the Celtics are going to lose now is if they beat themselves. If they keep take care proper care of the basketball, which they did in game three uh, with only 12 turnovers instead of the, uh, and, and they gave up 33 points on, on turnovers in game two. Uh, and they got, they survived it in game one with that great fourth quarter. They did not survive it in game two, but they cut it down in game three. Mm -hmm. there, there are, I mean, it's getting more evident. They are uh, uh, friskier. They're more athletic. They're, they're taller. Uh, um, I think overall they've been they've outplayed them for the most part and are better. Uh, but they have to this propensity for self destruction. Uh, they have you know this is their final exam, guys. You know they they've had all these other preliminary exams. They've done very well, but this is it, the final test. They've never been here before. The other guys have, are hard, you know, battle hardened group of core guys. Their guys are new to this, uh, but they're learning and they're and they're improving. And um, I, I, I'll be surprised if they don't win now. I, I think they win tonight, and I think they lose game five, and I think they wrap it up next Thursday night in Boston. A final exam with a new – with a rookie coach, too. With a rookie coach. And, and a rookie coach, I'll, I'll, I think we probably had this discussion earlier, but I'll repeat it. At the onset of the season, when he was uh, – as, as people prepared for the season, I had never in all my years of covering the league heard a coach so universally praised – before he coached the game, by the outside world. I'm not talking about the people that hired him, who predictably would like to tell the world they hired a fine coach. I'm talking about the outside world. This, this mm -hmm. hire was overdue. That's probably how to use he, – he's the guy you'll see. And then, of course, in the middle of January, the three games under 500, we're all saying, what's the fuss? Well, <laughs> now we're seeing what the fuss is. And, and uh, yes, he, he's done a tremendous job. So, uh, yeah. And, now, it, and you, the Warriors are just too reliant on the three? I think they, they are what they are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, they don't have an inside presence, obviously. Uh, Looney, Looney's a putback guy and as is Robert Williams, I'm not saying he's, a, but, but, and he don't have a, an offensive threat. And, uh, and very few people do. They're very reliant on the three, of course. And they have the great, the best backcourt three point duo ever, obviously They're both going to the hall of fame because Thompson's going too. don't worry. And, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, they're, that's what, that's what their game is. Um, but the Celtics do have, uh, the defensive flexibility to uh, when playing right to, 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 you know, deter them as better than most people can. Where do, where do you put Jason Tatum, Bob? In, uh, I know it's early and he it's hasn't early. won a championship, no. but, but where, where do you put Jason Tatum well, right in now, I mean, the world of the Celtics? He's 24 years old. He's in his, he was 19 when he started. We've watched him grow and, and uh, he, he's enormously talented at 6'10", uh, uh, can go to the basket, uh, his three-point shooter. Uh, can make passes he needs to he's learned how to calibrate you know all this stuff when to take over when not to when to, and that's not easy when you have a range of skill like he has those kind of guys have a burden now they got to figure out how to use the skill properly and 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 realizing you're playing with other people uh, there's a lot of psychology involved about uh, you, uh, trusting your teammates and all that stuff he's learning i think he's it's all falling into place for him where's he going to rake hey this is a tough nut you know it's a tough top all time four and five and the crack you know uh but he's going to take his place, I think, when it's all said. And he's certainly on his way to mm. taking his place in the, in the pantheon of Celtic greats. There's no question. One more thing for on a, the yeah. keto, the, the yeah, but the big if about what I said about them winning. It's Robert Williams staying on the floor, and and he is nursing injury, and and they need him on the floor to. He gives them a tremendous dimension they can't get elsewhere, and and I think you can see his effect on both ends of the floor. So if, if he's in any way impaired or not or, or reduced to like 75%, okay, then they, they're going to struggle. But if he's not, I think they'll win.